Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 24th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. No major strong solar flares to talk about, nor coronal mass ejections. Plasma filament there in the South Pole. Very, very bottom here of images. Other than that, no new solar flare or solar storm events to talk about. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a very big and complex sunspot region turning into view. You can see that firing away on the left-hand side. Looking at outgoing imagery here. Plasma filament on the right-hand side, that long dark line. And as well, plasma filament developing equatorial region. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the active sunspot regions. A little solar tornado there spinning around the equatorial region, turning into view. And as well, a coronal hole is building along the equator. Getting ready for the Earth-facing party these next few days with an Earth-facing equatorial coronal hole. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play today. Wanting to stay aware and prepared with all of the latest world events. Right now, we have eight sunspot regions. And this one coming in, 39965, is a doozy. And it kind of resembles the large sunspot region that we saw back in May that produced a strong X-class solar flare. So heads up this week, folks. We're going to be keeping an eye on this very large and possibly dangerous sunspot region. Earth-facing. These are some big black holes. Current space weather conditions right now, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected to high-frequency radios. Solar winds are coming in steady at 416 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, spiking in the strong sea flare range. For the past two days, it's been right up there, only reporting one minor M-class solar flare in the past two days. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low as well at a KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center here is showing the space weather spiral as we're not really expecting too much at all here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Minor geomagnetic instability expected into the 28th. Here is most recent coronal mass ejection taking off from their sun and as well another one. So that's two towards Mercury in the past 12 hours. Mercury retrograde coming up at the end of the month. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow's. Better viewing tonight than tomorrow, but still both very slight chance. Having a look at Lasco 2 here, brought to you by Soho. Big coronal mass ejections this week from the 20th and the 21st. We also have a sun diving comet right there. Bottom part of our screen. Diving into the sun. A little sun diving comet. You don't catch them often, but when you do, they're definitely noticeable here on Lasco 2. Cosmic dance party. Solar radiation storm for the past two days. Sun diving comet. And a very large sunspot region coming into view. Heads up this week, as it will be a wild electromagnetic week. Closer look here at that sun diving comet coming into view here on the 23rd yesterday. And it doesn't look like it goes right into the sun. But yeah, definitely flying by the sun and we're able to see it. So grateful for another surviving day on the planet and grateful for all of these accredited researchers and developers. 
Let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours. As we're getting back into a, a more average number for earthquakes, USGS is reporting 230 in the past 24 hours. And it looks like things are looking a little bit on average now. Fiji Islands, 593 kilometer depth. That's the deepest past 24 hours. 5.1 earthquake there. Macquarie Island region, 4.9 there. Indonesia, 4.3 Sumatra. 5.0 magnitude here in Bamba Bay, Tanzania. That's a pretty rare place for an earthquake. Tanzania reporting 5.0 magnitude. Earthquake swarm occurring on Puerto Rico Island and as well Northeast region towards the Virgin Islands. South American plate, pretty quiet today. 4.8, 4.1, as well a 5.1 there. Easter Island. Jefferson, Oklahoma reporting a 3.4. No major swarms across North American soil, but seeing increased seismicity through Alaska. As you can see here, USGS reporting 229 in the past 24 hours. Notable earthquake there, Harrogate, Tennessee, and as well, Oklahoma, Jefferson, Mentone, Texas, minor seismicity south of Yellowstone, and as well, Ferndale up into Oregon, minor seismicity. Minor earthquakes are piling up through Alaska. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, everybody. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. No new earthquake swarms, but notable earthquake here. Easter Island region 5.0. And as well the 5.0, Bamba Bay, Tanzania. Have a quick browse here for the last seven days. Shakers and movers across the planet. Also take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and as well supporting this channel. You guys are the greatest and most amazing community on YouTube. I love you all and I appreciate each and every one of you. Heads up, North American plate all across the Pacific right now. That is the zone where I'm going to be watching this week. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Mexico, Guatemala, Hawaii, and Kamchatka, active regions across the Pacific. Increasing sulfur dioxide emissions through Central Africa. And as well, minor eruptions, Mount Etna through Italy. New Caledonia and westward into Indonesia. And as well, notable SO2 plumes coming off of the Mauritius Island in Reunion, east of Madagascar. Now let's get to weather here as we do have quite a winter storm developing for eastern Canada and the United States. 27th into the 28th. And then the polar vortex starts to really sweep down across the nation. A lot of snow will be flying as far south as northern Texas. In the long range forecast, stay tuned folks as these forecasts do change. We've also got Tropical Storm Bert or Storm Bert affecting the United Kingdom, Ireland, and then you've got two more systems racing in there. So heads up this week, extreme weather and very windy and wet conditions for the United Kingdom. Long range forecast, low pressure system getting locked through the Mediterranean. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Australia. A couple notable cyclones here developing, not developing into anything serious. Low pressure system affecting Australia and Madagascar this week. As there are some very strong and vigorous low pressure systems forecast for this week. Stay tuned as these conditions can change quickly. So thank you so much for subscribing. We leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean. As we've still got multiple strong lows scooting across the northern Pacific, bashing into northern BC and Alaska. Lots of snow in the forecast. If you haven't seen the snowfall totals forecast, please check out last night's video as I did produce those details. Thanks for watching tonight. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. 
and get your daily do. Bye-bye now.